so what we learn up to now anything you remember um, welcome so let's full start yes please um so we spoke i remember um the uh, uh so last time we spoke about uh the recruitment process um and the um we spoke about um different type of uh selections uh psychometric and all that type of things um so we discuss about the process of recruitment different psychography and the um, aptitude test and various other selection tests we discuss yeah training and development yes um and uh, how to manage conflict mm -hmm. um and that's it last time we spoke about that and then uh, yes other we discuss about um, <clears throat> uh, we discuss about what recruitment process hrm what is the difference between them uh, we relate you know some examples and we quoted some example in term of hospitality industries and uh, what sort of the issues you know normally face these days companies and how the companies can uh, address these so these all you know we discussed during our lessons so now we are moving forward we are doing um, lo3 and some of our discussion will be related to lo4 as well okay, okay. so today will be summary the key component that influence the payment and reward system so during our previous lesson already discuss about reward as well you know different so we'll yeah. further system we'll go through economic psychological and other cultural influence attitudes and the behavior of employees how these could be influenced and the concept of psychological contract you know which we'll go through in the municipality industry so all these a key another you know, learning outcome which we need to be focused during our this lesson and uh, during previous lesson we already discussed about hrm function recruitment selection promotion yes job enrichment those we during our first labor market tourism industries our discussion address we discuss about difference between managers and leaders and different sort of the leaders we discuss about recruitment and selection we discuss some legislation about employment law during previous lessons as well i can also discuss 360 degree appraisal we discuss about equal opportunities and uh, race religion act and yeah. then uh, we'll we discuss about career development life learning reward and motivation so for the today we are going these you know the reward and motivation implies behavior psychological contract cultural diversity equal opportunities implies the relation and trade union disciplinary and grievances procedure and implies welfare so these are the points you know really we need to be covered under lo 3 and 4 so which is you know quite both los so which will go through question question baba uh, sorry any question no 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 okay so today lessons aims of today lesson is introduction to workforce diversity explanation of the psychological contract which we will go through and learner will be able i wish you know and the end we will be clear more issues about the workforce diversity what is meant by diversity how diversity help you know the businesses to achieve their objective and what is meant by the contract you know what sort of the contract we need to be bound between employees and the employer and how this impact on the performance 
our all our discussion uh, will be focused on these issues within hospitality industry okay so what we know about workforce diversity what it comes diversity means what is come in your mind what your uh, experience? um i guess it uh, pe where where people are from, the, the their um, male or female or anything else, or um, what type of background they have, studies, or trainings, I guess. Mhm. Mm Good. So all the different things that you know a person um, can be or have, and all the dif different aspects. Um, well, no different aspect. Um, different, yeah. The diversity within a um, a working environment, basically. I guess. Good. So, different background. Why is diversity is important in a hospitality industry? Mm, I guess um, it can be if it's um, like. Um, where people are from it can be maybe um, or it can i don't know it can be maybe um different uh languages um spoken um so to be in contact with tourists um and and customers in general um or maybe um the customs of countries that can be different so it would be good to have from people from different places maybe to address those or no mm -hmm. yes um, like, you know, because diversity we all diverse we have a different opinion different thought yes but the progress uh, we have a different ways of thinking so we are diverse workforce always good for the organization in terms of to improve but we need to be managed diversity Yes, we need to be clear rules, regulations in place. So the work workforce will work toward the common goal and purpose. Like uh, uh, in merit system, they have around around forty five to fifty nationalities. They, you know, especially air hostess is working within airline. Yeah. So that's you know that's airline is growing because better understand the cultural differences and launching the product and the services that meet the needs and the wants of the customer. So diversity is quite, you know, it's bring the innovation as well to diverse feeling, diverse experience, diverse thinking will give us you know, more development within our organization. So which one? Okay. First, we are discussing about the psychological contract. So, it's a psychology mm -hmm. uh, contract is an individual belief shaped by the organization regarding the term of an exchange between individual and the organization. Individual belief shaped by the organization regarding the term of exchange between individual and their organization. He with a recent emphasis on the promise, implicit or explicit exchange, what the employees give and get in return as an organization, uh, from organizations, so we need to look around those. And when we looking organizations, HR policies, we need to look around HR policies of organization. What implies give and get, you know, in terms of the exchange, and organization management and HR policies, those come under. So we need to look around those as well to be make a contract. Contract is a mean bound. What the people thinking toward the organization, what they expect and what the organization expects, what they believe and what the organization really want. Because mm -hmm. always have a conflict. Sometimes we'll, we want a flexible working hours different shift pattern we want bonus but we don't want to give so we need to think about the policies need to be clearly in place within our organization mm -hmm. psychologically people feel comfort motivated yes 
and we could you know uh, different hr practices in different countries have a different because we have a different culture so people maybe in J japan have a management different style compared to the uk management style and other uh, because you know the some more in term of social and some may be looking in term of you know the individualism sort of the culture so all these we need to be does it make sense um yeah yeah i think so yeah okay so next is uh, we need to look in we are looking now psychological exchange theory social social exchange theory which is based on will help each other when there is a positive cost benefit analysis yes so organization will help individual and individual will help organization so we need to be look around is a two way process really when the benefits outweigh the cost and if it can be tangible intangible what is the difference between tangible intangible tangible something that we can touch and see and smell and the, yeah and intangible is all the stuff that we cannot see or touch or good and uh, the benefit can be tangible intangible physical and psychological what is meant by physical benefit uh um i don't know a physical benefit yes um like something that um i don't know maybe maybe a something that allows some people to yes something people if we are giving them um like a company car physically people can see it yes okay if we are giving them break and uh, moral support that's a psychological yes Engaging, yeah understanding them better so that will help you know to develop the relationship good relationship with the workers lead to be more productivity and the quality could be improved yeah so all that the really matter is the person perceive the benefit to be greater than the cost yeah sometime in some organization say oh i'll work for holiday in i'm not don't want to be a work for other why i'll work for holiday in one is a brand name i can be proud i can say all a part of this organization yeah second they are offering um, like you know share scheme worker getting the shares within company pension okay. yeah so all these are are other you know health and medical insurance yeah in holidays so all these are benefit greater than the cost greater than the cost the effort we putting at the the time i'm giving to the company the company is rewarding me more than that yeah so that's we need to be look around the home of the it will play an important role in the development social exchange relationship by right? so we need to be look around you know the relationship we need to be develop with individuals the organization and that's the organization need to think about if we don't do it if we don't have a strong bond with the employees their perception could be different yes ultimately will be have happen staff retention will be very low when there is staff retention will be low every new staff to recruit it is cost around 3 to 5000 pound average so mm. not staying and staying with the organization longer we are losing we not gaining yeah. it bad press as well in a, especially in developed country so we need to be really focus on these things okay exchange theory both views exchange relationship as a comparing tangible and intangible resources gone by the norm we need to be look around the tangible and intangible whatever the norms are the values of the organization those should be match it and those should be match with the what the employees were expecting like a color scheme like you know the lighting scheme heating heating lighting comfortable environment 
yes like you know the various work uh, places always the music sound background we need to be think about you know how this is help them to be keep them are motivated as well as you know on both tangible and intangible process like a breaks you know break time we giving them and there is we, there are the food is available as well mm -hmm. that that leads to be higher productivity both relationship bring a set of expectation and obligation they will provide return or they receive yes what their salary expected if they getting higher is expecting as well to get the more productivity and the quality content of content of the contracts imply promise work hard uphold the company reputation show loyalty to the organization work extra hour when required develop new skills and update old ones be flexible for example by taking a colleague work be courteous to clients and colleague an organization promise a compensate with performance yes they high performance they will get a bonus and a official yeah for, for training and development it's give supposed to be equal opportunity for development opportunity for promotions recognition for innovation of the new ideas if somebody bring the new ideas we need to recognize within our organization and we need to take on board feedback on performance so the feedback on performance we need to be regular yeah. interesting task and attractive benefits package respectful treatment and reasonable job security reasonable job security yeah. to be reasonable job security as well so your job is there for you yes or yeah, you yeah. at holidays you when will make you redundant at least you know will give you good you know sort of like i been a redundant from british gas they offer us training they teach us how to make cv they taught us you know how to interact they give us you know extra opportunity if they paid the enough redundant money so that sort of you know training and they applied the job for us in various other organization when they make the redundant they couple of you know in different department is try to adjust it so these these things you know that's the implies promise as well organization promise yeah okay then the employment contract need to be edit okay explicit legal binding does not tell us much about what the people actually do work makes for rate only a small influence behavior we need to look around but psychological contract unwritten mm -hmm. that's what the people psychology what if i'm going in a hotel or working in a bar so expecting you know they're supposed to give me at least you know, free tea or tea or some sort of environment respective abusive environment at least that's my psychological contract but in reward i want to be get you know my yes good working environment good relationship with the employer so all these sort of things is a psychological contract mm -hmm. so that will be of course you know influence behavior and the feeling and the attitude for the work so that's it called psychological contract it will discuss okay transactional economics are the monetary base psychological yeah. contract uh, type of psychological contract could be transactional economics are monetary base which clearly expectation that the organizer will fairly compensate the performance delivered and punish inadequate or inappropriate act that's come under that transactional is it make sense um i think so i'm not sure so um no i'm not sure about this like i don't understand what um is meant by psychological contract to be honest so is it um is it some like is it whenever you, you okay, uh, okay. Uh, 
are you working in an organization yes yeah okay what you are what you are expecting what am i expecting from your employer in terms of um well i expect them to be um well uh, i don't know i expect them to expect to have like a contract um yes to be no, you, you have a social bounding you can say yes you working for this organization they will treat yeah. you fairly they give you same task you know same sort of activity to other if they give you more activities or you take more responsibility you should be rewarded more yeah logically because mentally you are attached with the organization or not yes you always yeah. think rest of the organization or not that's your psychological okay the more you are attached with it and they are rewarding you as well yeah okay yeah what was what my expectation was they are giving giving me more than my expectation yeah it make no it makes sense a bit yeah 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 it does it does okay economics are the monetary base with a clear expectation that the organization will fairly compensate the performance deliver if i'm delivering more yes you serving more customer you taking more responsibility so you should be get more compensation in term of the financial reward that's a so your psychological contract if you work hard you get more reward yeah okay then if you not work hard or you break the rules you will get the punishment yeah so that's it called transactional psychological contract yeah then relational social emotional based on the underlying expectation shares ideas and values and respect and support interpersonal relationship relational people expect they have a good relationship with the employer and the employer don't want to talk with the employees happen social emotional base won't be well and ultimately they app and the productivity will be dropped yeah by the relational as well is very important under the psychological then the third last strength of the psychological can focus on the employment relationship to see are uh, the nature of the ongoing exchange process is more detail understanding of employees and employer exchange and how employment relation go can go wrong which mm -hmm. somebody not up or follow it it could be breach and a relation could be that so we need to be look around that's why is a psychological contract we need to be focused on it it's not a written it's a moral yeah it's a options yeah okay organization realistic job preview implies that need to be team meetings focus group date two ways communication where we can hear them and they can hear us performance appraisal performance management practices equal opportunity and job security these are really we need to provide to the workers and next now we're looking managing psychological contract uh clarify the if we have a ambiguities things are not clear monitoring and vigilance anticipating the action to the breach and being realistic about what they what they and the organization can deliver and self awareness of the desired contribution and rewards any question uh no okay next we looking the breach what is meant by breach when one leaves uh, and other are failing to fulfill the promise yeah see if they will give you break but they not give you break you proceed yeah. yes but they there will be a pay increase after one year but they won't pay yeah. promise increase in the pay were not forthcoming 
promotion promise does not materialize type of work feature of the work were not miss it could be a misrepresented they said no do you will work only on the front desk but no you do you doing both you know you're doing working with the chef you're doing with the uh, helping with the cleaner and you were doing other jobs as well mm -hmm. match with the, my job descriptions yeah very careful training in training employee does not receive promised training so, yeah. you know they will provide you full training full induction and you will get you know all the induction information you will be mentoring but there is nothing yeah performance review inadequate or absent compared to what was promised so we need to be focused looking the the causes of the breach in the psychology what are the causes mm -hmm. free human resource practices if the human resource not make the clear policies their equality and diversity in place within our organization are treating people equally yes. there are no clear policies there is a no role and responsibility no chain of command properly in place in within our organization that could be a cause of the breach in the psychological contract yeah lack of support from management additional demand by employees previous history of breaches of the breach so all this will lead to the causes of the breach of the psychological contract what what happen when the psychological contract go wrong negative negative emotion anger betrayed sadness will say you know this organization is you know sometimes people saying this organization is shit you don't need to be worked yes sometimes you know such sort of the word people use it which we're not supposed to use it but the, that's the anger that's the sadness yeah so we don't that point the people are are implying even the organization people leave it they say such a nice place was but my circumstances did not allow me to carry on with them yeah so at least you know relationships suffered loss loss of trust respect and reduce the commitment yeah. reduce implies reduce implies well being they not bother about you know you feeling pain are you are sick are you are you know because of course here is lot of legislation is controlled by the government in legislation maybe in different part of the world those legislation not but still we need to be look around reduce imply well being if we not well being focus ultimately lower job satisfaction lower job satisfaction leads to be retention rate will be poor yeah retention rate you know the it mean we recruiting new staff staff not staying few months they leaving and moving like in a teaching profession nowadays you know in a nursing profession as well and various other profession a quitting yeah. job quickly than you know staying because in the past people used to stay 30 years with the same organization yeah withdrawal of behavior less willing to work hard share ideas to be a good a work based citizen that's you know because when what's happen if the contract go wrong this could be happen then yeah affected area due to the breach of psychological contract job satisfaction organization commitment job performance from i i know extra but i'm not telling to the organization because they not treating me fairly they break you know what was i was expecting and ultimately i'm quitting my job yeah as so we need to be focus okay any question about psychological contract um no actually no okay which is lo3 we need to be look around and we need to write about psychological contract what is meant by how we can and we can add some examples as well like i quoted few okay so should i should i do i have to find like um the um like examples that i have or do i or i just talk about examples like made up examples? or you can talk about or you can say you know you from your own experience uh holiday in our various other if you want to add it will be great or when we look within a book you know lot of examples given 
are given right. here. Yes, so, a lot of examples are given. Okay, so basically from my experience or something. Yes, you can include if you you know think is good to be included. Okay. Cool. Okay. What it means by like we discuss about the concept of diversity is based on the in individual acceptance and respect. It is an understanding that the individual are unique and different. We are different. We are unique and different. That's called cultural diversity. Cultural diversity acknowledge the existence of the broad cultural group within, like we are talking about, if we are talking about within Indian culture, are we talking about within Italian culture, within European culture or any other culture. So cultural diversity has been a part of, could be a history like, you know, UK is very diverse. Almost, you know, every, more than more than 100, 350 nationalities people living here. So we, if we can say the different diversity. Element of diversity could be on the base age, different age group living, different income. So in our organization, we need to be focused on the diversity. Yes, giving the fear, like is a lot of lot of discussion going, like a management level. As ethnic groups are there, but yeah. the proportion of the population are there. So a lot of discussion is going around. Like, uh, it's not diverse, you know, because when if we are saying diversity is a crucial and equality and diversity, we are a champion in our organization. So these organizations need to be focused on these things as well. Like Tesco is going to pay around around. Uh, good enough i think so 10 million pound unequal mm -hmm. they used to pay to females especially women so now that's it. that's we are saying we are equality and diversity to be promoting or we are a champion in our organization but actually that's not used to be happen yeah so we need to look around gender education ethnicity marriage status if somebody married not yes different you know um, so we're not supposed to be eliminate them we're supposed to be more diversity we need to be more in coherence we're supposed to be involved them in a decision making as well religious belief physical ability geo geographic or location sexual orientation parental physical characteristic personality types all these are element of diversity Way of yeah. diversity business finds a way to incorporate diversity to their workplaces without causing major changes to the, the way the company operate. Incorporating diversity in a workplace, recruiting from diverse talent. We not bother about where you're from or what your color or skin. We are giving the if you have a talent, that's fine. You come and we'll take you on board. Yeah. No, we need to be look around. Yes, we want to be recruit diverse from different backgrounds, but we're looking at the talent pool. Yes. So if anybody have a talent, we will give them opportunity. So diversity may be infused into advertising practices. And in because sometimes we are not promoting the jobs in certain newspaper, we are promoting the jobs in the certain media, the certain newspaper, that not every group of the society, like if we are promo advertising job on internet, maybe the people, those are above 50, they're not using internet. Maybe yeah. they think the technology, no, they're not for them. Ultimately, they're not getting the opportunity because they're not aware of the jobs is available. So we need to be use different media to be advertised the job. So give them opportunity to apply and to be more diverse. Yeah. Okay. Management diversity defined as a planning and implementing organization system and practices. Manage people so that the potential advantage of diversity are maximized while its potential disadvantage are minimized. Yeah. yeah. So teach them. Yes, multiculturalism. Is a system believe that the behavior recognize and respect presence of all diverse groups 
and our organization our society acknowledge value their social cultural differences and encourage and enable their continuous contribution within a inclusive cultural context they empower all within our organization our society so ultimately to be you know they will deliver it and promote so diversity management is a key to the growth today see the competitive uh, global market is quite you know quite crucial no longer can america corporation hide behind their lack of cultural intelligence organization that seek the global relevancy so must you know embrace diversity diversity can no longer just about the making numbers but rather how the organization treat the people actually and down to the roots of his this model yeah all these these are the you know the key point really we need to future diversity better understand the future diversity management as yes, we need to be in plan we are going to be open the more branches we need to be look around people from all over we need to be understand the cultural differences so all you know think back when the information technology was viewed as a just cause center but not any more because it was not associated with the driving businesses growth ago 20 years ago but now it is, is considered is a key tool for the business growth just like a diversity today many people then just through thought it got in the way of the business today it is considered the profit center if they have a spending money on it systems and those equipment it will help them to improve the business improve the profit but in the past this show people used to be think this is a waste of money diversity management well being developed rapidly out from the under the traditional human resource and the talent acquisition so we need to be look on these and we need to embed within a corporate strategy of the organization and capacity to ensure diversity become embedded mindset and the common so we need embed within our organization functional areas what is meant by functional area within our organization um not sure uh, it's a different department different operation like hr operation marketing operation production operation these are called functional area it's it's a different department or it's one of those departments no different department like you know hr is a one function within our organization okay. and the production is a one function so these are all areas called functional areas all right yeah. function through them yeah think the earth population to the village precise 100 people with existing human ratios remain the same it would look like this there would be 61 12 that's a one research you know oh, all right. yeah 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 that's cool and they because of course in asia the population a lot so they comparing with the world especially chinese and indian population that's you know make huge world population yeah so, so that's you know they just considering in this research so we looking you know how much population six people would possess you know 59% entire world of the so six people would possess 59% of the entire world wealth and all six would be from united yeah, states yeah. six would live sub standard housing yes yeah, yeah, both yeah. of them 14 would be unable to read 13 would die one would be near death one would be near birth yes so this is these are the finding all about the research so women in diversity so women we have in all professions so now is quite diverse you know women in um, hospital women in uh, working in uh, hospitals and various other professions so that's why called women at the workplace diversity so how the diversity initiative help organization 
keep competitive, improve corporate culture. So if diversity, we have an improved corporate culture. Improve implies morale, easier recruitment of employees, enable the organization to move into the emerging market, increase creativity, more creative, you know, as an organization, access overseas market, reduction in skill shortage, decrease interpersonal skills or conflict if we have, improve, you know, client relation, increase productivity, improve organization bottom line, and maximize brand and identity and responsive service delivery and enhance, you know. These are the skills due to the diversity will help organization. So benefit of diversity, customer service could be improved. Yes, we can like, you know, the Tesco as that we see in different area where more ethnic, they recruit more ethnic group, you know, they, at the, at the tails, yes, those people de could deal them in their own languages maybe better understand it, then we can deliver the food, different sort of ethnic food, you know, like within Asda, Morrison, Tesco, and various other stores as well. So different counters like, you know, world food and those sort of things, you know, so we can, if we don't have a diverse employee, so of course that will, could be, you know, as an organization, we can't achieve it, that sort of product. Yeah. Okay, possible barrier. Limiting area of consideration, lack of if maybe we're not considering it properly, possible barriers, word diversity, lack of diverse applicant pool we have in our organization. STEM is like in a system in place where we can record. Lack of diversity at the higher rank. Like no, in what, in a, sorry, what's the more, limit area of consideration? Uh, yes, limiting area of con. So we're not considering possible, you know, it's a limited consideration area. We're not considering every area. There will be every sort of people. Yes, different background. Like we're saying, that's fine in customer service. We need people, you know, different background. But we don't yeah. need in finance. We don't know high ranking level or the management level. We need just a worker level, you know, we can show to the people we are very diverse yes mm. is a limiting area of consideration mm. lack of diversity at senior rank which is a quite often in our organization categorizing people into certain position mm -hmm. even recruiting from the same source like we always advertise on internet for course grooming yeah. developing only one person Pre-selection and golf course meeting could be just, you know, meeting with nothing else. Well, we're not involving the... Yeah. So how manage to manage diversity? Your top level management commitment, alternative work arrangement so people can be move around department, increase diverse skills. People have a different skill. They can work in different departments. They have a diverse skill as well. Organization as organizational assessment, attracting employees, so accommodating work and the family needs as well. We need to diversity awareness program. We need to introduce within our organization, like your diversity week, like uh, last week, I think so. Day before yesterday was uh, Black Life Matter something, you know, the movement. Like they started and they just, you know, treated in a way. So that's sort of, you know, within our organization, some sort of program about diversity. We need to be around to improve. Consequences of if we ignore it, diversity it could be a consequence and unhealthy. Potential loss of product productivity could be inability of attract and retain the talent people complain and the legal action could be against the company. People not giving the fair chance and inability to retain women and the people of the color. So those we need to look around consideration and warning that could be leads to with uh, so employment tribunal and various others. So we need to be look around. Cola, yes, we strive mm -hmm. to create a work environment that provide all our associate equal access, information, development, and opportunity. 
building inclusive work space environment we see leverage our global team associate and rich in the diverse people talent we see the diversity as more than just you know policies and practices the integral part that we are a company and how we cooperate and feed so that's you know we'll see there a global wins is ability to understand embrace yes so 2020 vision of the company will focus on men male females yes so with the increasing percentage so those we need to look around respecting individual valuing valuing differences representing okay representing our consumer at the market where we do business so that's equal to diversity yes like you know we giving them we setting up we teach we promote them we make them part of society so it I will read to more productivity. Yeah, there are different example of different organization. These like a McDonald's mm -hmm. uh, model are can we found in terms of the quality, co quality diverse holistic model which manage diversity and operate. We can look around through across the board, top level, low level management culture. What is meant by culture? is meant by culture culture yes any definition of um well culture is all the um uses and customs of a specific um parts of the world let's say and the people who live in it yes culture norms value the way people perceptions yes symbols logos oh, yeah. all come under culture yes, yeah knowledge believe art law moral custom other capabilities habits acquired by a man and the member of society that represent the culture yeah culture is a human activity symbolic structure design emphasis on the important value of actions equality and diversity Cultural diversity across languages, culture, race, nationality, religion, affect effect, effective energetic response to the challenge of managing increasing diverse workforce. Migrant workers have formed a substantial part of the hospitality workforce in UK. The growth of the culture diversity in hospitality workforce is resulting from the combination of the global. international factor and condition within host a home and a host sorry host country host country is where for example the uk is my host country because i'm italian hi then great good so host and home so we need to look around so in a business we use think globally act locally think globally act locally act according to the local wishes of the local people yeah so is a quite popular phrase equality act 2010 that's been uh, been updated and emerge various other legislation legally protect the people from discrimination in the workplace and in the wider society according to the uk government act yeah cultural dimensions power distance index so in some culture there is a lot of you know dis distance between uh, half steed cultural dimension half steed give us different dimension to be when you looking the culture you can look around the power distance index some country there is a big power difference between senior and junior mm -hmm. in some country individually versus state in uk is more towards individualism you know, them maybe individual perspective you know more benefit but in some country maybe the joint family system collectivism more masculinity versus femininity yes that's more here and there uncertainty 
avoidance index is some country is high and some long versus short term orientation some country looking the long term not short term like you know so we need to look around those these are different cultural differences between different countries culture is a collection program of mind that distinguishes between the member one group category of the people from others so according to the cultural difference it could be a power and sentiency long orientation all according to the offshoot so we can look around these cultural differences and whenever we have a different mission and the values objective fair processes skill work for active flexibility inclusive we need to look around where the people interpersonal skill like we said earlier and all education employment turnover many diversity training provide our workers diversity is increase important component in 21st century a conclusion is being given a diverse workforce the reflection of the training world and marquee diverse workforce teams you know bring high value of organization towards and we have a quiz as well okay can we do quiz um yeah so let's will do quiz i'm going to send you some case studies to read a lloyds yeah. lloyds tsb how they create diversity within a workforce and what benefit bring for them okay that's quite good to read okay let's we'll go through sorry no thank you can we possibly do it next time is that okay oh no problem i i think so you need to leave no problem what i'll do i'll send you these okay you play with the quiz and uh, yes. I, i will send you this one uh, journal article and one this you know article is all about the diversity creativity how diversity will lead to innovation good to read huh Yeah, that's fine. Um, is are all the lessons on, on Moodle? Uh, yes, all on Moodle. I'm going to send you as well via email. Huh? Yeah, because um, I I haven't received any on HR yet, and no, also no. to check the finance um assignment I did up until now because I didn't touch it. I was waiting for you know an up an update on that. Uh. I uh, I have a holiday so I'll make sure you know I'll send you all the feedback in detail so we'll finalize it then by next week huh? No I can you repeat that for me sir I didn't hear it uh, I mean you know I have a half term week from other place so what I'll do okay. I'll all you know the manager and I'll send you now all the lessons for HR as well uh, All right okay cool uh okay have a nice weekend you if too, any question you. drop me email Yeah, that's fine. And hope so. Weather will be nice tomorrow, there. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.